pay us in time. Uh, let's go off the cuff for a minute on this, and I've got a couple of uh, recent uh, reports in the uh, news, not the mainstream media, but some uh, different sources uh, that I think you're going to find rather interesting and try to bring a maybe a recap and an update on what the National Guard's been doing, what the military is doing. Uh, you know, and I, I'm going to go ahead and say this one more time. I've said it tons and tons of times. Well, I shouldn't have said tons and tons because that would be 4,000. But uh, I've said it a bunch that, that i got high respect for our military and our law enforcement officials in America. Now, having said that, i got no respect for the evil feds. Those that get off, they get their rocks off, on the destruction of America. I got no respect for them and never will have, okay? Now, with that being said, I can see where there is a shifting of priorities, okay, by the DOD, DOJ different arenas on, on the critical incidents I had spoke about earlier uh, maybe a week or two or a month ago. I don't know. I don't remember exactly when. I've had so much going on. But I spoke to you about critical incidents and wildfires and uh, you know things that are going on and uh, the way the DOD and DOJ and they're turning their attention. And I told you a while back on video, go check it out, they were going to, they're already turning their attention and they have been toward Mexico. I told y'all that's one of the wildfires. I told you, told you, told you, told you, told you. Well, uh, my sister called me from the hospital uh, where my other sister is in a uh, critical unit, uh, but she got a blip on the TV screen and it was about Phoenix, Arizona of what's going on there today, today. Okay, and then we have... Uh, then we have a representative from Texas saying they're not waiting on Obama administration, uh, the feds, to respond. They're going to take action if they need to through their National Guard to stop this stuff at the border to keep it from spilling in on up into Texas. I mean, if they got to take action, they got to take action. I'm with you 100%. You know, let me throw the old out to you, buddy. As ex military, I know what you got to I know what you got You got to do what you got to do. So I think we ought to be careful to draw a balance, as I've tried to, I, but I've done it in a passionate way, and I know a lot of people don't understand the passion I have, and that's fine. But let's remember to draw a balance and understand that, you know, we're looking, we're looking at an economic collapse that's right down the line. And for my safety and your safety, I can understand to a certain extent of, uh, how should I say this? National Guard helping, you know, in a constitutional manner when it is a crisis in certain areas. Let me put it like that. Okay, I'm all for that. I'm all behind it. Okay, as far as helping, if the, you got a bunch of daggum, if you got a bunch of daggum Mexican gang drug dealers coming over the border, and they're ready to rape, pillage, and kill everything in their path, then I'm I'm a hundred percent behind you, brother in the National Guard. I'm 100% behind you because that's an invasion of our country. Do you get what I'm saying, people? Y'all follow in time for a minute. Follow me. Now, the, where I have the problem is urban warfare training about confiscation of guns. That's where end time problem comes, okay? So just be well aware of that and understand that. Uh, whether you belong to the National Guard, whether you belong to the regular army, Marines, whether you belong to the Sheriff's Department, uh, whatever you belong to, that is my problem when it comes to training to get ready to do that because it just ain't going to happen. It just it just ain't going to happen. And I'm like a lot of my friends. I am praying so hard for a peaceful resolution to all this, okay? But it's like me and my Navy buddy was talking about. You know, when a man loses his home, his vehicles, his livelihood, and he ain't got nothing to lose if you back him in a corner. One of the worst things you never mess with in a, is a, a desperate American man that uh, lost everything he had, man. You know, you don't go, you know, 
you know that old song you don't pull on Superman's cape and you don't pee in the wind well they should have added you don't mess with an American man that, that everything he's got has been stolen from him by the evil feds and the private bankers that's, that's the wrong thing to do so what I'm saying is, is, is look I got a friend of state patrol he's one of the best people on this earth you could ever meet okay so I guess this may be encouragement to this video be encouraged to the fact that there are good men and women in law enforcement, the National Guard, the regular Army, Marines, Air Force, and all that, Navy too. But always stay vigilant, vigilant, that's the hardest word for me to say, always stay vigilant knowing that there is a system of evil feds, they're in the DOD, the DOJ, they're in the law enforcement, they're in the regular Army, they're in the Guard, and they're just pure out led by evil. Okay, this ain't no other way to put it. In time, just laying it straight to you that there is evil that exists in there, and that evil, some of the most evil, is at the highest levels in this nation. That, my friend, we must guard against. Okay? I don't understand. Nor would I want to be in their shoes for their socks when it comes to the amount of destruction and evil they brought upon this nation. But I also blame myself and I blame a lot of you that we sat back on our fat cans and didn't do nothing about it. Well, some of us have been fighting since 99 through different ways and different means and putting out flyers and, and, and just everything we could do, and then here comes you two. But then there's some of us that's just apathetic and want to sit back and 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 do nothing. I mean, I mean, not give, not be active at all. And and I, that I ain't got too much respect for that. See, some of us have, some of us have an area of of uh, how should I say, shepherding people that are down and out. You know, and giving them hope. And I try to give hope. I just did two videos on hope and peace. But we got to we got to function in a way. That if your gift is to help others that are down and out, and your and your message is nothing but straight out, straight out encouragement and 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 and, and shepherding, I'm behind you 100%. If your message is dehydrated food, I'm behind you 100%. If your message is this, you get what I'm saying, and I won't spend all my time calling out all these things because there's so many things that so many of you are so skilled at, and you're so gifted to do. And it's just about time to get into that part of this one unit, this one body that we belong to. It's time to step into our role. People are hurting. People are going to be hurting a lot worse than they're hurting now. There will be, think, think about this for a minute. Those gangs and all, they certain places, Detroit and different places, that, my gosh, man, the cops don't even want to go in there at night, okay? And you think about when the collapse takes place, uh, how them and the MS-13 and all the all the gangs and drug dealers and all, they're going to think they got carte blanche. In other words, there's going to be an amount of evil unleashed. So it's going to fall in civilian hands to protect each other. Now, at the same time, there are evil people just waiting to knock your door down, take your guns, your food, and everything. Don't believe me, it's all over the, the video after video show when they've already done it. But it don't take away from the fact that there are good men and women in the military and law enforcement that, that need our prayers and need our support. I guess is what End Time's trying to get across on this. Okay, so whenever I can find that about Oregon, I'm hunting it, I'm hunting it just like a hound dog is hunting him something but I cannot for some reason I think it's been pulled or something I don't know but you know they say that the uh in Iowa it's been called off I don't know that I don't know that that's the case they because a lot of times they'll throw out stuff to throw you off track and get you you know back down at ease or get you relaxed when they're really going to do it but then maybe do it in a what I predict is they'll probably do it in a little less uh it'll be a limited form it won't be as out there as it was going to be in time, I'm right. I'm right. Time, I'll be back. Hold on with me. Don't leave me.